Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Yilat Abid and today I'm going to show you how to use RenderBrain that will speed your renders to infinity and beyond. So this is the first thing you're going to see after setting up RenderBrain. This is the render node of RenderBrain. We're going to go to that later in the tutorial. So I'm going to go to the window extension and take out RenderBrain and I'm going to dock it right over here. And the first thing you're gonna see is the big smiley brainy button that when I'm gonna press on it, it's gonna yell at me that we don't have any enabled items in the render queue. So render brain is gonna take everything you're gonna have in the render queue and it's gonna render it out. So if I'm gonna drag something over here or use the command composition add to render queue, it will be added to the render queue. And here I can select all the render settings and output module and of course the place I'm gonna render out to so I'm just gonna select one of them let's take the the reminder and I'm gonna press the render brain and now the render brain jobs will pop up the command prompt will pop up you can don't close it if you're gonna close it you're gonna kill the render so I'm just gonna minimize it and here I can see the progress so I'm gonna go back and that was pretty easy. So let's take two. And now I want to talk about the split. The split takes all the things you have in the render queue and it splits them to a separate jobs, which means you can render both simultaneously. So you can see the command product opening up, the render brain jobs opening up. I can dock it over here if I want so I can see the progress in real time. But that's not the coolest thing about RenderBrain. RenderBrain can do that even on network machines. So I'm gonna refresh it again. I'm gonna take up RenderBrain and now I'm gonna use the network render node. So I have a, a small network in my studio that comprises out of three machines. So I'm gonna select both of them again and I'm gonna split them to two machines and I'm gonna press and the job distribution will pop up with all the machines online. So we can see that the Mac uh, that I use is not online, I turn it off. So I'm just gonna press the render button and that's it. Now this machine, the monster, is rendering. And you can also see that studio number two, that's the other machine that is located somewhere else is also rendering. So I'm just gonna refresh it and let's do that again with more compositions. So I'm just gonna select all of them. I'm gonna do this over the network and I'm gonna press the render brand button again. And now to show you that I can remove or deselect a machine so it will not be used during this render but I can see now that I have only two jobs and I have three renders so I'm just gonna cancel and I'm gonna split the render queue instead of to two jobs I'm gonna split it into three jobs so all of them will be rendered out simultaneously so I'm gonna press it again and now this machine will render two jobs and the studio number two will render one job so I'm gonna render them out and you can see here in the render brain jobs panel that all of them are rendered at the same time. So that's the most beautiful thing about render job. You will see also in a few minutes how to set that up. And this is the most easiest setup you have ever encountered over the network. So now I want to show you how to multi-frame a composition. So to multi-frame a composition, instead of split two, I'm going to multi-frame this composition. And I'm gonna take, I think, four jobs. I mean, four processes to render all the frames. So each machine will have two processes dedicated to it. I can do eight or even more, but now let's keep it simple. So I'm just gonna check this composition. This is 20 second composition with a lot of elements and effects and I need some help to render it and get it done. And I need some help to render it out as fast as possible. So I need to take care of two things. The first thing, I want to do is to go to the presets and select the multi-machine settings. This is a preset that comes with every After Effects version. Doesn't matter if you're using the multi-frame version of After Effects or not. Second thing I need to do is go to the output module and select a sequence preset. And if you don't have a sequence preset, you can just go inside and select a PNG or OpenEXR. I'm gonna take a JPEG 
I'm going to press OK. And of course, I want it to be in a subfolder. So I'm going to save it in a subfolder over here. And now I'm going to multi frame this in four process, which means two on this machine and two on the other machine. So I'm going to press the render node button. I'm going to select the machines. Of course, it's going to be both of them. And now I can see that I have two processes over here and two processes over Studio 2, which is the other machine. So it's initializing and nothing happens. So I'm going to refresh it. So you can see all of them are rendering simultaneously. And you can see here that they are skipping over frames that were already rendered and they go up to the next frame that was not rendered. So this is beautiful. I'm rendering this four times as fast if I was using one machine alone. That's the greatest sound ever. So I'm going to refresh it again. This is how you multi-frame a composition. You can select a few compositions and multi-frame them. Multi-frame render is not solely for network renders. You can do this on your own machine. Let's take three processes to do the job. And I'm going to reselect it. And of course, I deleted all the files because if After Effects sees that there is a frame that was rendered, it will not render it. And all the frames are rendered. So I deleted that folder. And now I'm going to press the render brain again. And now I can see that I have three processes that are processing the same composition simultaneously. So if you don't have a strong machine, maybe this will not change as much, but you can still use a multi frame, even if you're not using the latest version of After Effects, which is pretty amazing. So this is how you use render brain. And you can turn any office and any studio into a render farm or even your own machine. If you need, even if you have one machine, you can use it as a render farm. And all of this is in the background. And of course, for all of you versions promo users, RenderBrain is integrated inside of Versions Promo. All I need to do to use RenderBrain in Versions Promo, which is another plugin by us to create promo versions for broadcast channels, you need to go to the options and change the render engine to render node and save it. That's it. So now let's let's take these two and I'm going to render them out. I'm going to select the versions I want. I'm going to do everything the same as usual. Select the output module. I'm going to press continue. Make sure the sound files are correct. And now I'm going to press the render node and the magic will happen once the job distribution window will pop up. So here I can select the machines that's going to render all the version. I'm going to press render et voila. I can see that now all the versions are distributed between the machines online and I can see that everything renders out perfectly. So each time you use render brain for your renders, you will see a dramatic change in speed. And the thing I like the most about RenderBrain is that you can use it and add to the queue whenever you want. So, oh, I forgot to render a few things. So I'm just going to select the machines and render them. And that's it. Now they are added to the queue and they will start to render simultaneously with all the other renders. So you can take your renders out to the max. But you need to remember that for you to use the network machines, you need to make sure three things happen. First of all, After Effects needs to be open on every machine over the network. The second thing is that you need to use the same version of After Effects on each machine. And the last thing is that you all have access to the same file system, which means I'm using a network drive, a mapped network drive that is called D on all the machines, which means that if I open a project from this drive, the link is the same on all the machines, which means all the machines can go to D VPN projects, GOT folder and open this file. If it's changed to E on another machine, this will not work. So all of them need to have access to the same file system. Of course, I'm not I'm not going to talk about it, but all the machines needs to have all the fonts and all the plugins and needs to be pretty much the same on each machine. So that's how you use render rain. Let's go to the setting part. So in the settings, I can change a few of the network settings. So 
if you're in a studio and everyone is badgering you uh, while you work and you need all your computing power, you can uncheck the use render node so your machine will appear offline to other machines. The next thing you can change is the port that you're using. But if you don't have an IT guy and you don't know what you're doing, leave it at 26 you can change a nickname. Every machine can change its own nickname so it can be easier to understand which machine belongs to who. And of course, I can check the pool machines by pressing this button and looking at the machines. I have this machine, this machine, and of course, the iMac 3 uh, that I turned off its render node. So that's it. And of course, I can reset all the settings to factory settings. I'm not going to do that, but if you run into trouble, you can do that. And remember, everything you change something, if it's a port, a nickname, or even checking off the render node, you need to restart After Effects for the changes to propagate. And now for the last thing, how to set up RenderBrain over the network. Well, that's the easiest part about RenderBrain. The first time you open After Effects, after the installation of RenderBrain, this folder selection window will pop up. And this will tell you that render node setup, you need to select a shared drive between all the machines. That's exactly what I was talking about before. So I'm gonna select the drive or a folder in the drive, doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna press okay, and that's it. And you will have this tiny little window that says that render brain is listening on a port. And that's it for render brain. This is all you need to do to use render brain. While all of those are turning to green I'm gonna finish I hope you learned how to use it and I hope that you will love it as much as I do so enjoy render brain and I'm gonna see you next time